Capes is based in King City, a near-future metropolis that's ruled by a team of supervillains for decades. Under their oppressive regime, powers are outlawed, with any civilian showing signs of them quickly rounded up for a grisly fate. Your crew is less like a classic crime-fighting team and more like a resistance cell, young supers who have managed to escape capture and now fight back against the dystopian government to try and free their home. The path to revolution consists of a series of story-driven turn-based strategy missions. Always a punch-up of some kind, but often with a twist, such as stealth elements, a race against time, or civilians in need of protection. They're not easy. It's the kind of game where you first load up a mission and see an absolute horde of enemies arrayed against you, and it's natural to think, is this even possible? Half an hour later, after several attempts, you finally stand surrounded by defeated thugs, thinking, how did I pull that off? The key to victory is always in getting the most out of every member of your team. With eight heroes available to unlock and increasingly dangerous enemies arrayed against you, the web of possible combos becomes a wonderfully layered combat puzzle. Between missions, heroes can enhance their abilities back at the base, and you're free to replay past missions, hoping to complete more of the bonus objectives, allowing you to grind for level ups if you wish. But crucially, upgrades never flatten the differences between the characters. It's these kinds of clever decisions that keep Capes' battles brilliantly tactical and riveting all the way through. Great pacing helps there too, when you're feeling a little frazzled after a particularly complicated boss fight or a careful stealth mission, that's when the game will throw you a big dumb fight against an overwhelming horde just to let you unleash satisfying havoc on them. It almost never lets up on the challenge, but developer Spitfire Interactive is great at tickling different parts of your strategic brain as you play, rather than hammering on the same one to the point of frustration. Where the pacing unfortunately isn't quite as deft is the story. There's a lot of cutscenes in capes and very few of them actually go anywhere. Broad themes of capitalism gone awry and systemic injustice work well enough as a framework, but individual story threads within them often feel incongruous. Unfortunately, lackluster presentation doesn't do the story any favors either. There's a plastic quality to the characters, which combined with stiff animations makes them look like action figures. In fights, that's fine. The game visually conveys what it needs to to make combat run smoothly, but frequently cutscenes zoom in for face-to-face -face chats, forcing you to see every visual flaw as the heroes emote unconvincingly to the inconsistent dialogue. Really though, it's not the story that pulls you along, it's the depth of strategy on offer. The drama isn't in the cutscenes, it's in every nail-biting turn as you try to figure out the perfect combo to get out of another fine mess. It can be a serious challenge if you're the kind of person who hates the idea of reloading the same mission multiple times looking for the right approach, this probably isn't for you. But meet it on its own terms and Capes will give you 20 to 30 hours of wonderfully substantial and engrossing superhero strategy.